Hello class. This is the second video for activity 4.2. Uh, if you recall in the last video we had graphed this parabola um, that modeled the position of a ball uh, that was thrown from the top of the Sears Tower. Uh, this time we gave it an initial velocity and then the ball came down and we discussed the axis of symmetry and turning point. So let's answer these questions. Uh, I'm actually going to go out of order. I want to start with the axis of symmetry. We remember the formula was negative b over 2a. So I've put that in here. Uh, axis of symmetry equals uh, negative b over 2a. And, and really, you should think about this as the equation of the axis of symmetry. It's really an equation. So it's going to x will equal some number. Right? And remember, the axis of symmetry is the imaginary dotted line that splits our parabola in half. So just looking at this parabola, you know, I'm thinking my answer is going to be somewhere around 2, maybe a little bit below or, or greater than 2. But somewhere around here will be the imaginary dotted line that splits my parabola in half. So where do I get this b and, and where do I obtain a value for a? Well, a would be negative 16 because here's my equation. Uh, so a is negative 16 and my b would be 48. So let's write that in here for value. So when I complete the calculation, I have um, the negative 48 over 2a, 2 times negative 16. So think of this as negative 48 over negative 32, which gives you 1.5. Right? So if I were to draw an imaginary dotted line at 1.5, that would split my parabola in half. So there's no practical meaning for this, but when we think about the vertex, remember that the, the point that gives me the maximum value of this parabola is called the vertex. And if we look at the negative b over 2a, that's the x-coordinate of the vertex. Right? So think of this vertex as an ordered pair. Right? What point represents this, the highest point in this parabola? Right? It's an x comma y. We know the x value. It's 1.5. So I can actually start, I can type that in here right away. Right, so the x-coordinate of my vertex is 1.5, so that's why I like to find the axis of symmetry first. And now once I have the 1.5, if I know x, I can sub that into my equation to find y. Or in this case, it's t and h, or t and y. So I can take my 1.5 and sub it in for t, and that will give me the height. Right, remember, this function gives me the height at any time. So if I know the time is 1.5 seconds, I can substitute into my equation to find the height. So let's do that. Let's use our calculator for that. All right, so I'm going to enter negative 16 times 1.5 squared. Okay, so just double checking that I entered this correctly. Negative 16 times 1.5 squared plus 48 times 1.5 plus 1,450. And I get 1,486 feet. All right, so that makes sense. If you remember, I was standing on top of the building, which was 1,450 feet in the air. I throw the ball up in the air. So the ball is going to start at 1,450 feet, and then it's going to go up. How high does it go? Well, the maximum height is 1,486 feet, right? That's the top part of this parabola. So let's write that into our box here. Okay, so the ordered pair is 1.5 comma... 1,486, and just remember, the x-coordinate or the horizontal uh, coordinate um, in this case is t, so that's time. So it takes 1.5 seconds for the ball to be 1,486 feet in the air. You can even say, since this is the vertex, the maximum height occurs at 1.5 seconds, and that height is 1,486 feet. Okay, so the max height occurs at 1.5 seconds. The maximum height is 1,486 feet. So that's our practical meaning, right? So these would make good test questions, right? I can give you a function. I can say find the axis of symmetry, find the vertex or the turning point, and tell me the practical meaning uh, in the context of the problem. I want to mention there's another way to find this maximum height or the vertex. If you take your calculator out and just make sure we still have the equation in there, right? Negative 16 t squared uh, plus 48 t plus 1,450. If I graph this, if you press the second key in your calculator and then the trace key, 
because above trace it says calc. We want to calculate the vertex. Now, you have to ask yourself, is the vertex a maximum value or a minimum value? Well, if the parabola opens down, we always have a maximum value. So on our calculator, we want to press number 4 for max. And then your calculator says, all right, left bound. So you want to move your cursor, right up here is my cursor. I want to move it to the left of where I think the maximum value is, right? So my cursor is clearly to the left of the max value. I press enter. Then your calculator says right bound. So you have to move your cursor to the right of where you think the maximum value is. So I press the right arrow until I get to the right of the max value or the vertex. I press enter. And then it says, guess, where do you think the maximum value is? So I move my cursor to what looks like the top of my parabola, and then I press enter. And notice I have 1.500015 comma, uh, and Y is 1,486. I think that's close enough, right? Because we entered 1.5 comma 1486 and our calculator gave us 1.5000 but when we round this we end up with 1.5 uh, so this is good enough for us all right so we we figured out how to find the vertex using algebra right first we found the axis of symmetry plugged the value into our original equation and we also found the vertex using technology okay so i think this is going to conclude the second video in this series uh, look for video three uh, shortly.